Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Let's talk a little bit more about factors and primes and the incredibly mysterious number 42. Factors and primes? This can be fun, actually, if you have the right attitude to it. In fact, what, what is the answer to all questions? 42. Our question is whether or not uh, 42 is prime or composite, and knowing that it's already divisible by 2, seeing that it's divisible by 2, that we know right off the bat it's composite. Um, so let's take a look at some of the numbers that are associated with 42, and Those numbers are, well, first off, 1 and 42, we know that. We know that uh, 2 times 21 works. We know that 3 times, uh, 3 times 14 works. We know that, uh, well, 1 and 42, 2 and 21, 3 and 14, how about 6? and 7. They all equal 42. So here are different primes. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, and 42. These are all of our, these are all of our factors that go into the composite 42. Thanks for watching. And again, just to repeat, 1, 3, and 7 are prime numbers. Um, <clears throat> and 6 and of course 21 and 14 are uh, composites. Let's take a look at uh, number lucky number 42 at Wolfram Alpha. See what Wolfram Alpha thinks about number 42. Okay, number 42, visual representation. I'm not quite sure what that means. And yeah, there are the Roman numerals. X, L, I, I. Binary form, prime factorization, 2 times 3 times 7, which is <coughs> 6 times 7, right? And uh, 42 has a unique representation, has a sum of 3 squares. It's an even number. It's, um, 42 is the fifth Catalan number. Not sure what that means. And so here we have uh, all of the various representations of 42. So there we go. Thanks for watching.